Reynolds, great story. Late bloomer. Great backdoor cut by Devin Goodman and the find from Brody. Ten point lead for the Quakers as they look to solidify that last spot in the Ivy League tournament. Nice back cut by Martz and Broder. Yale back in front by one. Eddie, Eddie Scott, good cut. And one. Challenging Noel late in the shot there. I think that was as bad a defensive possession as it seemed. And there we go again. Oh, man. Take it right to the hole after that. Good combo defense there with Mahoney and Atkinson. Another great pass from Broder. And to develop chemistry, it takes culture, but it also takes time. This is a young UCF team that don't, they don't have that chemistry yet. And the backdoor cut, the layup, pin 25. Block right side, it's, excuse me, Broder comes up high. Collecting that pass, broken up by Haskett. Here's Goodman. Broder under 10 seconds. Nice feed. Oh, good cut. Woods with the left hand. Good cut. The ball. Yeah. Plus the foul. Penn and, and the depth that Harvard has, that's why the fast pace of this game favors the Crimson. Nice pass inside. Bassey got I'm with you. I think Broder looks a little bit weary at this point in the ball game. Beautiful pass. Vulnerable for those back cuts. Here's a guy that's got four of them. Wood. Broder's bounce pass inside the beauty. I always laugh. The officials came out, folks, before the ball game. Hit my hand. He did after he scowled at three of five from Trey Lamb. There's your, there's your screen right there. Yeah, he just cut right off. Here's Broder. Ryan Bentley launches. Three. You no, know, I like about him the energy. He just plays so hard all the time. Yeah, they wear on him. That's for sure. He averages over 40 minutes over the last week. And what a dip. Three pointers to lead the Ivy League this season. 192 in his career. That's just amazing. What great shooting. His shot's perfect. And he's got one more year in a Yale uniform. <laughs> Down the lane for Goodman. A little extra space for McBride. Constant motion. Nice job. A little subtlety there, though, by Warren, who gets the assist. Broder, a nice feed of his own. Martz. The game of keep away begins. Goodman soars and scores. You have to trail run them off threes. You can't get hung up on a screen. The next time they go mountain climbing, it'll be the first. And Penn's making threes. Given what Broder gives you on the inside and what this Penn offense gives you when in motion, that's kind of the difficult shot. Colin Smith with 11, Dejan Ingram 8. The rest of the UCF roster has three points. Pass down the lane to a cutting Ryan Bet. A.J. Broder now the sole owner of the career field goals made record passing Ernie Beck. And he gives Penn the lead. about it right now. He wants this one from Eddie Scott in the corner. Why not? This week. Penn's whole demeanor changes when Broder's back on yeah. the board, doesn't it? There's Dingle, catch and shoot. Got the interior presence of both Mason Forbes and Robert Baker and Chris Lewis. Back to Broder. Jurchic trying to sneak in. A nice pass and a nice one point lead. Now Jurchic extends it. Scott gets it to Broder. This time, triple team sends it back out to Scott. <laughs> nice to lose. There you go. We've broken a story here tonight. I didn't know that. Broder. National champion. It's good for the other teams to have that opportunity. Broder got it poked free, but gets control back again. And there's his cutter down the lane. It's Bentley. Been the compliment to the AJ Broder show. As he nice gets an feed assist inside. Didn't end up being a screen. Broder having to take it himself. Dingle. Bingo. Record holders. <laughs> They're tuned in, rooting for Broder all night. <laughs> Fill it up. 
Dingle hits for three. Has to stay with his man. See man, see ball, simple, simple principles get the job done. Broder again with the pass. Count it and one. Ryan Bell. Down 17 points. Actually make that 19 after that one. Goodman for three. Got it. Season high 17 for Ingram. And another guy that can make great passes. He's a ball mover. He's a creator. He's also knocking down perimeter jump shots. Colin Smith can't handle the pass. Broder leads the break. The reverse falls. It's hard to do when you're so aggressive like him. Keep your head up. Identify where the double's coming from. Find the open man. So the Duke transfer having a strong first half offensively. There's the action. Broder. Putting it on the deck. Bentley left wide open. Bingo! Their yeah. last four. They've hit them all. Davis. Davis can't guard it either. They, they get it inside. They can't guard it. Yeah, there Broder used his body. Foreman. Tough pass. The extra one out to Wood. He's got an open look. And a big part of stopping A.J. Broder. He gives way to Bentley. And back to Broder. Straight away three from Martz. Another one. guards are going to have to rebound. Ryan Bentley coming in. Got to rebound in traffic. He's going to have to do a lot of that if they want to have success. And then back cut. Over a pretty good shot blocker in A.J. Broder. Ingle gives it up for Broder. Lays it off for Eddie Scott with the rim rocker. Goodman, bounce pass to Broder. Look inside to Monroe, and that's Penn's first basket. It's your role as an official. Skip pass, open three. Ryan Bentley in with his four fouls and over 14 minutes to play. If you're Arizona, you better attack. You better attack Broder. Nice pass from Broder. He cut everything, and Penn comes away with it. Good back cut and the reverse light. Green light for certain guys on this Arizona team. Ten point lead for the Wildcats. Change the way Penn plays offense. Just simply take the ball reversal away and, and, and you only have to play defense on half the court. Good help. Broder a nice pass. Things in mind. Now he was probably having fun. Here's oh, yeah. Martz. <laughs> to Broder. And Broder's hot start continues. Four. I don't think he's too worried. He likes his team. It's a one-on-one -on -one matchup. matchup. Broder left them behind twice and finished. Little spin move on him. Now AJ trying to get his back. Broder steps around him, somehow kept that pivot foot and scores. Broder's caught under the basket. For Azar Swain this evening, just two of 12 from the field, two of four from deep. He's leading the Ivy League right now in three pointers made and has set a single season record for Yale. Last four or five possessions. There's that up screen for Broder. Gets him isolated on Dixon. No double team. And a reverse goes for A.J. Broder. 22 points for the senior. Here's Broder. Goes underneath. Because once he points to that area, he's saying it's a it's a art restriction. That's why the foul, not because he wasn't set. Injured five minutes into the first game a year ago. Well, good call, Eli. He certainly was a very fine player, uh, but did not get to play last year. So looking forward to having him. He's a good player. Uh, the year. Good footwork right there. Takes Broder. Little spin move on him. Now AJ trying to get his back. Broder steps around him. Didn't take a whole lot of threes last night against Princeton, but did take a bunch of threes last Saturday against Columbia. We'll see if they go that way. Could be a three-point shooting bonanza as well. Back to the action. Inside the Broder, he's on Mason Forbes, turning right, goes for the up and under, and again. But that's that's a an ownership role. <laughs>
of the, of the house there. Not a number but it's, of good But it, it, it's S plural, right? This All is right. such an Ivy League conversation. Ours just made it three, he'll pass it. Takes it back, gets it into Broder. Lewis again on Broder. The right hand drops in. Eddie Scott trying to find a shooter. Villanova's doing a good job of closing to the perimeter. Not a lot of catch and shoot opportunities. Again inside. Bro it's important that you take time and you actually work this defense a bit. If you get a good look, you still have confidence in the game. Broder inside across the key. Inside for Broder. Now AJ going to work. Puts up the hook. And it rolls in. AJ Broder ties Ernie Beck atop the panel. Smith. Yeah, one skate on the blue, over the blue line, right, Joe? He stayed onside? Barely onside. Broder, turning hook. We've seen some different defenses. Then to stay in the course. Dingle looked for the right man. Now into the lane. They go high-low. Oh, that's a pretty move by Broder. He's got a chance at a three-point play. <laughs> going to work, almost got shoved off his spot, still going, how about keeping that pivot foot alive? It's huge and a big reason why uh, they're able to attract, both clubs uh, and universities, able to attract uh, some of the top talent, not only on the court, but off the court. That is another spectacular play. What you can do on the offensive end, particularly if you get out in transition. A.J. Broder, they left him by... Woods thought about a deep three, packs it back inside Broder. And finally. Broder, quick look to Martz and right back to A.J. Broder. On Atkinson, just turns one way. Jerome able to dig it out. It's a 7-0 Yale run over the last four minutes. Plus. Broder ends that right. And Gabadon and Bruner are set to check back in for the Bulldogs, as is Lucas Monroe for the Quakers. And once again, A.J. Broder right around the bat. Goodman now, nine on the shot clock. Into Broder, Forbes on him. Gets it in. Test for him today. Steve Donahue told us for Broder, the, Na the Massachusetts native, he started recruiting him in ninth grade as the head coach then at Boston College and has never in any game he's watched. By the way, Harvard out rebounding Penn 38 to 24. Broder left hand somehow gets it home. Makes him really dangerous. So far, Yale's left all their good plays in Princeton, at least through two and a half minutes here. Broder swoops and scores. You're going to expect a lot from on the offensive end. So you've got to help out. You've got to dig down, at least get the ball outside of the paint. Here is Broder going at Smith across the key. So smooth in the basket. Inside to Broder. Man by Lewis off the backboard and in. That's been his move to uh, In the NCAA tournament in 1994, the guy has been around and again, one of the bright minds in college basketball. Yeah, it may not be Hakeem and Clyde, but they have had a heck of a run. And there is H. Blueberry muffins in the buffet line. <laughs> oh, no, he's not that quick. <laughs> the length was negated by your anticipation. That was just pure hunger. There is another beautiful. Gets the Quakers back. In striking distance, and that miss will give him an opportunity to cut it to five or less. You don't want to force, but you do look for Caleb Wood. He's got the hot hand. Search for it. Broder inside. Hook shot is good. Shots. Catching right elbow is Broder. Broder turning to the right hand and jumping it in with a little beautiful bang. Smith, no. And A.J. Broder clears. I like that attack because it brought A.J. Broder to the basketball, which opened up offensive rebounding opportunities for Colin Smith. Here is Broder. There's the up and under. I really like Monroe. Rebound and initiate the offense, even though he hits ahead. Holden, a transfer from West Virginia. The layup doesn't go, but Broder does. And scoring record for a career at Penn. Bentley for three. Offensive rebound, Broder. Here. Antonio Woods 
Rolls it off the rim. Broder, offensive rebound. Don't forget foul. Bentley gives it up for Martz. Second chance. Broder, contested shot. With a not easy shot. Direction his second three pointer of the night. Wait, wait, wait. Swain's got 13 points. Looking for 15. It's spelled Brodeur. If you're a hockey fan, you think of the great goaltender, Martin Brodeur, but it's pronounced Broder. He's come in and coaching. They're space with each other, they have good floor balance, and they're hard to defend. Kyra Lewis. And a whistle. Wins for Penn Earl in year, and I think. A lot of that had to do with good three-point shooting from the perimeter from Bentley and from Dingle. As Broder gets that block, so there's one. And there's jump the ball. jump ball. ball. Dashes to the free throw line, kicks it out to Murphy. Left to Adams, down to Harrison. Harrison banging, spinning against Broder, tries for up and under the summer. And um, he is going to sort of run this Alabama basketball team. Forced it up, no good. Rebound. Rebound, JVN was there, but he couldn't cash it in. That was JV. the league in assists. That was defended well by Juzang, cut off the pass. Swain through two, bounce pass. Rejected by Broder. Keeps Penn down by one basket. Monroe quick to the hoop, and Broder came from out of nowhere. Darren Green rims out of three, the offensive rebound. Dre Fuller swatted by A.J. Broder. If you want to still run your offense, try to get a quality look, but there's certainly nothing early in the shot clock contested. Well, with three on the clock, Catchings has it swatted away. Been nip and tuck here. Here's Gabadon again attacking, blocked by Broder. Has seven seconds to shoot. Into the lane, blocked by Broder, out of bounds. Two seconds to go. I don't play anymore. What's it matter? <laughs> Bryce Washington, pass picked off, Brandon Mahan for UCF. Nice move to the hoop, and then blocking the shot was A.J. Broder. He has come to play today. Just four points shy of a career high. Swain shot gets rejected. Look at the help from Dylan Smith. Good defense by Broder. Forcing a tough shot. Stone Gettings. Checking in for Arizona. Gettings, the former Ivy Leaguer, played at Cornell prior to transferring to Arizona. He's familiar going up against A.J. Broder and the Quakers, and he lost. Up. He started by Goodman, one of the best defenders in the Ivy League. Takes the pick from Forbes, sends it back to him. Spin move, goes up, right hand. No good. <laughs> Great defensive adjustment by Broder. They're going to go back to more. Gillespie on the drive. Shot clock at five. Robinson Earl up and under with the left hand. No. Good defense on the Villanova team. So this Penn team's used to late game situations. Well, there's pseudo senior Colin Gillespie back on the floor now for the first time here in the second half with foul trouble. And Bay along the inside track. Why Coach Donnie, he was appreciative of them. Maroon, thank you very much. Yeah, when you talk about this group, A.J. Broder bothering that. As Providence is going to get a third try. They're starting to win the war of the boards. Inside. Oh, that's a block and a good one by Broder. Pack it inside the light foot. He's going to try to throw his shoulder and go baseline. In and out. Clear intent to go inside out. Elevator screen right there. Atkinson with nine to shoot and all the room he wants. Hook shot falls out. So the Friars have their work cut out for him in these final 20 minutes. And Alpha Diallo, remember, begins the second half with three fouls. That's Holt. This is right around the time that Providence put on their run here on Tuesday night. 
little drop step for Watson. Wow, how about that deep? Early offensive transition, transition, they've been amazingly effective. When they're in the half court, it's been a grind. Too far for Lewis. It's a good ball game now with under five to go in the first half. Gosby Raftery trying to answer. He got to defend as well, and he didn't. Time is starting to become a factor. Nice dish by Petty. Around the perimeter. Gillespie in traffic. Samuels. There are so many guys do that. They dribble the ball up to get control of it. I think it's a double dribble every time. It rarely gets called. So it would be disingenuous for me to complain about that. You don't have to be the highest jumper on the floor, the fastest guy. If you understand the game, if you can think your way through it, you can have success. One of the bottom 50 tempos in the country. They don't, they don't need to be fast. They like to be deliberate in their actions. Towns inside the arc. If I was a fan, I'd love to come here because you can sit any place in the plester and you have a good seat. Now, if you go down to the... First team all Ivy League performer. He has 17 in this one. And the ball... Right there, and it took the basketball, got by the defense, when anybody to throw it to it, and he laid it in the hole himself. So, uh, this has been... Bruner, poked away. Broder. In transition, blocking foul called on Jordan Bruner. Kept it away from the D and went up quick with it. The brother's been doing that every year as a Penn Quaker, now as a senior. And defense. And it runs yet some more. What a pass by Petty underneath. And right behind his back. Um, the name of the game is to get to. For Arizona, it's a big breeze in the second half. Right, he had answers. It was just answer after answer. That's what made that game so good. Good hand. And now you got yourself in a good old-fashioned dogfight. Atkinson, good position on Broder, but the strip by A.J. Broder. Puts it on the floor, goes to the hoop, and kicks it back out to Bruner. Mahoney on the curl. This Penn bench wanted to travel. Instead, they get a turnover. And the rebound for Kyra Lewis. Alex Reese back on the floor. That pass almost got away from Newman. As we're at the midway point of the second half. And Newman will take the baseline jump. Anything to make Penn uncomfortable defensively. Gillespie. Shut down in the corner. Needs some help. Seven to shoot. Broder knocks it away. Gillespie gets his dribble back. He'll drive it, Broder, and draw the foul. Ten minutes of basketball to go. Lightfoot got at least a hand in his way. Graham, probably not the ESPN app. Inside a minute. Beetle Bolden against Broder. And Gillespie with a nice shovel Double dribble. Yes, but doesn't need to put bulk on per se. He can hold his own. And his legs can keep getting stronger too, and that's critical. Wow. Petty. And a whistle. Davey and David. Ball from Devin Goodman. UCF, here's some transition action. Double clutch. The scoop won't go for Dre Fuller Jr. Out of Offensive rebound without fouling. So special. Broder had a wide open look for that three. Passed up instead. The pick and roll. Penn's offense runs through him in a lot of different ways. He's got it right there. They're doing a good job of cutting him off. Now inside, Broder, a little floater on the feed from Devin Wood checking in the game. Penn's 15 and 2, and he gets double figure. So nice look. Great look by Foreman inside. Looks like two points in the score sheet, Joe Torty. Broder in the lane. Get to the rim. But he also can drop shots right in front of your face. 
Good game. Broder inside. Broder, there's that craftiness. Yeah, good find. Uh, but, but that watch how watch how well the ball moves. Four players have touched it so far. Great post position. Patience and understanding of what kind of shots you should get. Move your way into four spacing or find the open guy. And that's exactly Jerome Allen, one of the best to ever suit it up in the Ivy League, and Lewis Dale. The point guard of those Cornell teams, that was the first year of their three-peat back in 2007, 2008, which really began the paradigm shift in this league. It wasn't just Penn and Princeton anymore. To make him such a superstar? Absolutely. I called uh, the Maui Invitational for the radio for ESPN, and uh, he was the best player on the court. Uh, he Has also stretched the lead to 13, 53-45. Last four. You can hear the Penn bench screaming, cut, cut, cut. They're looking for that ball and body movement they had earlier. Good pass. Eddie Scott turns. Just had to double check that. But he's allowed to stay in the game. Oh, it's too easy. And the lay in. And once you develop that continuity and that movement, you create a little bit of rhythm. You understand the tendencies of one guy or another, and that's what allows you. Penn has had some big time injuries of their own. Trying to get Broder going to this second half. What a move. And he is just so tough. Took the lead going into the locker room on that three from Foreman, who's got 19 points now. Just too shy of his career high. Broder on the. Alabama. Uh, got Alex try, at least trying to play the post a little bit. Not quite as big. And inside is Broder. Cooley believes that he could be the sixth man of the year in Big East play. Let's see what kind of defensive energy they're playing with here. On the inside, Broder. First month, shooting in the mid-20 percents. Not confident. He is a totally different player right now. Broder beats Welsh in the back door. Cut. In there. Able to play over the top. Nice pass pass. And Broder easily up and in. Christine, you've mentioned how good A.J. Broder is as a passer. He's averaging 4.7 assists per game on the season. This time he takes the two himself. Three and a half minutes to go. Oh, that's a good cut. All Broder night. Hanks. And hits. All night long. The Quakers decide to slow down the pace. Nearly 60%. Inside, Broder came wide open. 471. The two matchups came exactly two weeks apart. Home team winning both times. Broder, short range. Mississippi, talking about the guy who wears zero on his back for Alabama. Meanwhile, Jordan Dingle, number three, dishes. And as always, they look for Broder at the baseline. They went to junior college and now at UCF. Nice drop off and the finish from A.J. Broder. You got a mouse in the house here if you're Broder. He's got nap on him. You got to get him that ball. Goodman. Finds Bruder in the stuff. Hey. Penn will be keeping an eye, or at least Penn fans will, on the Brown Harvard game and also Yale. Nice back hey. cut, Bruder. Yale's fifth in the league in steals per game, but you wouldn't know it based on tonight's defensive performance. Bruner gets fouled after he made the basket, so he'll go to the line. Good pick and roll. Very good pick and roll. Now, Penn by five in the first regular season game of an up-tempo style. Yeah, there have been eight turnovers thus far, but uh, it's been a fairly in-control kind of approach. Yes, it has. Five-point lead for Columbia. Broder. No double. Swings through and puts it in. You got to see the ball on the weak side. No surprises if you're help side D for Providence. Broder. Wow. Penn's defense was playing catch up ever since. Ends up with Forrest on the three. Broder, two points away from the record. Your athleticism and force Penn offensive players into something difficult. And in the half court, they can be aggressive. And there's a. That's where they want the ball in the hands of Broder, almost playing like a point center. 
Down the lane, he saw the gap and hit. KJ Bro to work. He's going to work you on the offensive end, but you've got to make him work defensively because he's going to have to work you on this side of the four. 65. The tie had 21 turnovers that day to Tex 16. Broder. Look at the wingspan. Want to go to Monroe, stays with Atkinson, and Monroe all the way to the basket beats Jordan Dingle again. Nice. Into the Grizz, staying in Tennessee, heading to Vanderbilt. Very difficult. It's a very difficult. Um... Ryan Valley. He's well, just he's been red hot in traffic. Broder, how'd that go in? Broder, back to the hoop. Nice move around Atkinson and lays it in. Broder worked down the lane, fighting his way inside. And get there for a putback. Well, the first guy knows he's going to miss is the shooter. Here's a freshman, Jordan Dingle. A.J. Broder moving in. Broder to the bucket. I'm to try avoiding a couple of these kind of sleepy starts to ball games. And is it sleepy or give them some credit? There, you get Benson. AJ Broder gets inside and gets the body. 14 three pointers from long distance. You have to make your free throws late. Everything has to go well if you're going to pull off an upset. Wow. Nobody home on a drive by. Broder. He went to the tournament, had a tough game with Kansas a year ago. So both these coaches have done remarkable things here. Broder blows by Lewis. For Sadiq Bay and Sadiq Bay saying, hey, put anyone on me. I'm going to work. Broder got Cosby round three in the air and an easy two as he blew by. Before halftime, including a near half-court buzzer-beating three from Juzen. Another good help by Seth Towns on Broder to make him pick the first time. The second time. Uh, DJ Carton at the point, I, I love him. But they just play solid basketball. A.J. Broder, a three. More offensively. 15 points here in the first half. He had 22 in the season opener against Army. And there's the end. Uh, right there to impact the rebound. Dingle. Finds Broder for three. Bingo! <laughs> As Ingram had a nice run at Alabama. Last year averaged seven points a game. Career high ten and a half points a game as a redshirt friend. And Penn will be heading to Boston as Broder hits the three. And the three-point line uh, against Harvard, in particular, in transition. Jake. Silpy, and there's a three ball. Top of the key, hits for three. Throw a little love right there, saying how well he's doing some things, and then gets caught behind the double. And Broder, Broder, Broder three. comes right back. So if you open the court for these guys, they'll take advantage of it. Right there. Woods with the crossover. Sets up Broder. Yes. A triple from AJ. But that was a tough finish. It just what looked I, awkward. But, I didn't think he traveled. But what I liked, took big steps. But, but what I liked about it is he attacked the guy with one foul. Somebody may want to get out at AJ Broder.